and we'll see you in the next Tech Topics video, which will hopefully be less than a month away. Welcome back to another Geek Watt video, and as you saw from the intro, in the last one of these I said hopefully isn't a month till another one, as it had been the time before, and it's it's been two. So yeah, but today we're going to talk about something that I think has been a little bit overlooked by the mainstream consumer, probably because it's out of most people's price range, but nevertheless to me it's still quite an important, uh, quite an important, not issue shall we say, but uh, quite an important thing that's coming up, and that's going to be Broadwell E. So Broadwell E should hopefully give us a bit of a taster of what Nvidia and AMD are going to be doing with their upcoming mainstream uh, CPU architectures. Now, why is Broadwell E such a big deal, or why are these new architectures such a big deal in comparison uh, to when the 5820K and the 5960X and 5930K were released? Why is it such a big deal this time? And it's because we're going to a much smaller processing node. We're going from the 22 nanometer architecture down all the way to the 14 nanometer architecture, which is ridiculous, which should mean uh, way more performance in a smaller space, uh, which is not only great for like laptops and stuff, but it also means that if you've got you've got a chip, you've got a die, uh, you, you're, you're essentially able to uh, use that other spare space to either cram more performance in or to improve cooling or add other features and stuff like that. So uh, it's just been PAX. Now, it was just PAX East, I believe, and this week coming up is Computex. Now, Intel are expected to re announce uh, their CPU at Computex, uh, which is this week, end of April. So I will do some coverage of that if we get any major news. However, some important stuff just dropped today that I thought was quite interesting. Now, you may have seen the rumours, uh, well, not rumours, actually, the reports uh, on something like the One Show from my LTT or from WCCF Tech, uh, and I'll link the article and the video for those down below, uh, where Intel basically leaked the, 50, the 6950X or 6960X, I can't, can't quite remember the naming scheme, uh, they actually leaked that on their support uh, drivers uh, kind of section of their website. Whether that was a purposeful sort of marketing move to drum up the hype or anything uh, like that, I'm not too sure, but... I had some interesting stuff happen at PAX. Now, Gigabyte, who I am uh, very happy to announce, are going to be uh, working with me in the near future. Well, the very, very near future. So much so, I've got their sexy AM3 Plus uh, brand new 990X Gigabyte uh, uh, AMD motherboard. So I'm going to be doing some videos and stuff and things on uh, that. So Gigabyte, who are working on me with me on that uh, amazing project there, are also going to be doing stuff uh, with the new release of Intel's new CPUs, and that's because I'm going to be doing a really, really, really sick Intel build guide, an ultimate build guide, uh, hopefully going to try and get some big graphics cards as well for that. But that's besides the point, so that's the reason I mentioned Gigabyte, just to drum up the hype, lads. Uh, but um, the reason I mentioned Gigabyte is because this article is on Gigabyte. Now, I can't remember who it was. I'm just quickly referring uh, to an article and some notes that I've got going on uh, down here. Uh, but Gigabyte's motherboards were spotted on three uh, uh, unique occasions. Their new X99 motherboards with the 2011 uh, V3 socket were spotted at PAX East. Now, it's believed that these weren't any of Intel's new CPUs, and instead, uh, it was just uh, the new motherboards with the X99 chipset. Now, Gigabyte haven't told me anything about upcoming uh, Broadwell E architecture, and or anything like that so I'm not spreading any news that I've heard uh, from from them etc but they'll be helping me out with the motherboard for that build as well coming up very soon so what about the details of this Broadwell League architecture what's it due to bring all that kind of stuff so I already mentioned the move from a 22 nanometer to a 14 nanometer processing node which is basically confirmed it's not fully confirmed on their part but it's basically known to be true now Intel are releasing Speculate, speculated uh, to be releasing four tiers a two six cores an eight core and a ten core whereas before they had one six core uh, well sorry two six cores one with a low amount a nerfed amount of pcie lanes one with the full 40 pcie lanes and of course their eight core 5960x now they're actually going to be spec this is all just sort of rumors but it's it's been rumored by quite a few different parties so it is kind of on the right tracks to be true and, and, to, and to that kind of thing uh, but it's believed that they'll be ditching that really stupid naming system and instead going for 6800k which will be their 6 core 12 thread uh, CPU which is believed to have the nerfed PCIe lanes so only the 28 PCIe lanes uh, you've also got um, the 6 core 6900k I believe 6850k sorry uh, which will believe is believed to have the 40 PCIe lanes however I think they probably uh, will only serve up the 28 PCIe lanes once again on that chip and then you've got the 8 core and the 10 core variants the 
uh, K and the 6950X with the X series GP X series CPU being their very very highest end uh, model it always has been uh, due to it being X99 you are expected to have loads of graphics card support we are expected to have RAID support loads of SATA ports M.2 uh, maybe we'll even see some M.2 RAID as well natively on a motherboard we're expected to have eight RAM DIMMs all the usual stuff and it's a uh, uh, Skype, do you mind? And it's also expected uh, to have um, uh, the full overclocking support, all of that kind of stuff, with the t with the same 2011 V3 socket. So yeah, that's pretty much all the news. Skimming through my notes and stuff here is we aren't really expected to have uh, too much more. We're expected on the two six core variants to have 15 megabytes of L3 cache, which is the really really fast cache, uh, along with the L2 and the L1 in, in, in much bigger quantities. And then we're also expected uh, to have uh, 20 and 25 megabytes respectively on the eight and the 10 core CPUs. Now, once I said, as I said, these are all rumors and nothing is confirmed by Intel. But this coming week with Computex and all that kind of stuff should um, hopefully leak and shed some more light on the in uh, on on the situation and that kind of thing but probably could be uh, the biggest overlooked uh, cpu release of uh, 2016 and early 2017 you have to remember it's august of 2014 uh, that intel last released um their x99 series of chips so we are well overdue it should give us a good taste of what's to come of course in the consumer line of products so that will be like the 8000 series probably or the seven no the 7000 series if i can count so yeah, it's looking good. Make sure to check out all my other videos from this week in the description below. I've got all my content will be linked as well in which uh, the Gigabyte motherboard is showcased and used along with, what's this? AMD's new Wraith cooler. So, uh, so yeah, make sure to drop a like rating. Hit the annotation on the Gigabyte motherboard now to view some more um, Gigabyte motherboard things. And drop some hype for that X99 uh, Ultimate Build Guide. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, drop a like rate and make sure to subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next Geek or What video.